Cynthia, it's been a pleasure working with you uh, oh my goodness. the past few months. <laughs> so thank you for taking some time this morning to, uh, to share and chat with us a little bit about the process of uh, selling and buying a home with Premier Realty Services. So. Oh, thank you. So, well, the first thing I want to say is I remember um, you and I had a conversation in probably one of the first or second houses that, that um, you showed me. And I said, and we signed a contract and I asked you then how were we married? <laughs> <laughs> so I just feel that, that that was the start of a really long, uh, really long relationship um, and friendship. So I want, I did want to say thank you and I really appreciate all your help with everything because I know it was a lot. Um, I remember that too. Our first meeting was at an open house here in Randolph. Yes. Yes. And you had come to uh, to see the house, and it was uh, it was before you realized uh, that you had to sell your place. And right. <laughs> yeah, you were thinking maybe you were going to rent. Yeah. yeah. And um, and we ended up getting that house sold before you know it wasn't you know the timing wasn't quite right yet for you. But right. uh, um, so with the process, I wonder if you could share a little bit about some of the things that you felt were enjoyable. You know, some ups and downs throughout. You know the emo emotional roller coaster of it all. The selling part um, was really kind of emotional because I really didn't want to let the house go, but I guess mm -hmm. I had to. Um, and then the open houses were a little bit brutal because I had my I had my two older sons living there, and I had to kind of beat them into shape about uh -huh. making sure the house was presentable. So that was that was a lot. It was it was really a lot of work. And then the whole process of, um, what was that program that we had to go through to... Oh, with the city. With the city. Yeah. So that was yeah. a lot. And once that was done, you know, it just, it, it was, it was fine. It yeah, was fine. Yeah. You, you raised, you raised five children in that, in that place. I did. I did. A lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of, of memories. memories. Right. And my mom owned the house prior to me. So, you know, we were the first people that lived in that house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm happy I am. I'm happy where I am now, though. Very good. So from selling, we got that one sold. And then we're kind of watching the clock a bit because, you know. Because now I, I have to be out of my house mm -hmm. uh, a certain day, and I haven't found a house yet. So <laughs> mm -hmm. then it gets, yeah, it gets kind of scary, almost to the point where I might have would have settled for anything if it wasn't for my daughters. You know, they kept, you know, I, I brought them out with us a couple of times, as you yeah. remember. And he was like, no, mommy, no, mommy, not that one. But, you know, I was to the point where I'm like, well, you know, this would be okay. But it wasn't really what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But um, I do remember us coming here and you said this was the last house on your list. Mm -hmm. And you said, um, I, I can show you this, but... And then I'm like, well, what's the butt? And you didn't really say. So we came in. And I still didn't see what the butt was. My daughter said to me when we pulled up outside, she said, mommy, this is the one. This is the one. She no, said, yeah. this is the one. And yeah. I said, okay, because I had looked at so many houses. <laughs> and then I came <laughs> in and I, I loved it. I fell in love with it. It was exactly what I wanted. A big yard, everything on one level, a basement to be finished. It was absolutely everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. You know, I remember that your daughter's coming out with us a few of those Sundays and uh, you know, some of those open houses that we're seeing, yeah. really keeping you in check, right? Yeah, you know, ho did. holding your standards and mom, 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 this one's okay, <laughs> but no, let's go see one more. Let's yeah. go see one more. And, uh, you know, that's, the, remember I told you at the beginning, it's it's worth spending that time because you told me that you're planning to be in your, your house for this is your retirement house, right? right. You're here exactly. for, for the long haul. So exactly. you want to spend, even if it's an extra few weeks or a few months, on finding that right one. Yeah. And uh, and this one was one of those rare gems that you find where it, it takes a little bit of equity, mm -hmm. your sweat equity. You're going to come in and, and swing a hammer a little bit or hire yeah. a contractor. And it, it really wasn't that yeah. bad either. I mean, yeah. just updating. No, well, aside from the plumbing thing. It wasn't anything major. It just mm -hmm. it was just it was very clean, mm -hmm. just outdated, and the price was really good. Price was right. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey. And I remember you also telling me you was like, "Well, Cynthia, don't get discouraged. You you, you know, when the right one comes along, you're no." So mm -hmm. I I did. Yeah. I nice did color. some shopping nice around for that, and the the new backsplash. Mm -hmm. That's really it right now. You see a lot of those. Uh, yeah, the glass. I have a picture of it. Um, it was 
all green tiles. The tub was green, the toilet was green, the sink was green, and green tile going on. Hopefully that will stop them from right now.